G'day collectors, Sci-Fi back again. I'm outside of my collector room here and I'm at where you can pick up some of the best vintage stuff in Australia. The Canberra Vintage Collectible Centre here in very bustling industrial Fishwick. Everything from comics, Star Wars, vintage games, handhelds, Motu. This is all the original stuff. There we go. Awesome music. Very interesting handhelds I had when I was a kid. DC, Marv, right in hidden in Fishwick, and I didn't even know this place existed. It's been here for years. I bought, me and my wife bought our movie couch right there, and I never even saw it. Didn't even know this place existed. Probably a good idea it didn't, because I would have bought me out of house and home. Let's get a look inside. Yeah. It's amazing who you find here. Here's Andrew and Matt. How did you oh, guys get here? Yeah. <laughs> they let anybody in. They yeah, do, don't right. they? Are? Yeah. No shoes, no service. No, we're good. That's right. It's all good. So here we are, guys. Good, mate. Good. So here we are with the Keep On Collecting guys. And this is this store. It is amazing. I'll be doing stops and starts and pauses. I'll go from the right here where I won't be looking because it doesn't interest me. Is, of course, your pops that's okay if you like those there's hundreds and hundreds of them here biker mice from mars if that's your thing rock'em sock'ems gi joes oh there's an angel cordelia my, i've shown it before because my wife she didn't want it gentle giant not that one i don't think but for 175 if you guys collect these you're in for a treat things here i've got to say are really really cheap let's sail around here come on the more high-end gear if you can see sorry for the glare but it doesn't matter some nice japanese stuff mark ii there's hot toys there i don't know if it's it says 50 bucks i think it says for the box there we go all the way through guardians of the galaxy X-Files, Terminator, Lady Death, Marvel's Black Panther. Wow. Here we are. And there's some large, probably 18-inch stuff there. Wow. Premium form, King Leonidas from 300. Sideshow. It's going for 700. That's probably not bad. Bit of spawn. How is that? Incredible. There's a little mini Groot. That is awesome. It's only 300 bucks. I wonder what it looks like. But anyway, let's go down a bit more. All right, you're going to find a lot of loose stuff here as well, which is good for me. I don't care about being in boxes. There we go. This is one of your Stan Winston creations here. I've got one of them. It's only probably going for about 20 bucks. I don't go for more than 20, 30 bucks, which is good. Unless they're in boxes and they start to price up more. Bit of Sin City goodness. There we go. If you look at the Japanese stuff. Very good. Some nice. Oh, they're the old movie maniacs. And they're going cheap. Ooh, maybe next time. I've already got my. Got a few things from here, as you can see. Nice big. Nothing there. That was where I got my stuff. We'll look at that later. <laughs> so there we are. This is stuff I don't collect, but some of the other boys do. They're all your um, Ghostbusters, aren't they? Yeah. That's all Ghostbusters. And there's some old, old Transformers. As I said, oh, look at there's a price. Four fifty. dollars Still in the box, though, mind you. Wow. I remember these as a little kid. Yep. I had one of those years ago, but sold for a pretty penny. Wow, there you go. Thomas the Trains. Thomas and Friends, what do you want to call him? There's just so much here. Unbelievable. Bit of Lego. Wow. If you're into Lego, they've got it here for you. Bit of Star Wars Lego. Some enormous... Batman Lego. Wow, I like that. That is cool. Batman, the Batman Tumbler. 
225 bucks. That's pretty darn awesome. There you go, expensive Star Wars now, not so expensive. That's cool. Turbo tank. There we are. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. All right, on the wall of cards from If You Do Collect. There we go. Lots of wrestling. Awesome. All the way down. Old wrestling. And here we go. Look, Lord of the Rings still on the card. Had a good look at some of these. They're going for thirty to seventy dollars. <coughs> some are quite rare. Oh, entrance. Gladrial entrance. I wouldn't mind that one. That's pretty good. Looks like the Flaming Ring Wraith is the only one I can find. Is yeah, in all the bad guys. Where's all the dark fellas? Even down there. Oh, there's one. Got him already. That's a nice one. Yeah, crossbow Urukai. Well, wow, there you go. A wrestling mat. Nice. I'm looking here. Get in on that. And go for your life. Got some of these. Cool, I don't know what they're going for. Ten bucks each. Can't get any better than that, could you, if you're a collector of toy biz. Very nice, but no weapons, unfortunately. And here's the ones with all your weapons. Fantastic. Ooh, look what that wetter thing is. Let's have a look at that one day when I come back. There we go. Oh, I found some more bad guys. These are the last, unfortunately, of the toy biz. I remember getting all these. Well, not the good guys. Definitely got that one, Gothmog. He was mad. Of course, here's some old vintage stuff here. Wow. Oh, some teenage, those skateboard decks and whatever. And then, oh, that's old. God, it's 1970s. It's gets, gets diaper ash. Wow, I think my nephew had them. Here we go, so I'm looking at the, some of the kids stuff. Ooh, found some Buffy stuff here. I don't think my wife would be that interested in that. Collect the glasses. Looks like all Warner Brothers stuff there, Looney Tunes. Wow, okay. <laughs> it's a random just stuck there. This is all for your little kids' things. Oh. <clears throat> Heading up to Assassin's Creed if you're a fan of that. I know my, my son is. Yeah. Very high-end looking gear. Still in boxes. Very good. And look, they're going for not too bad prices either. Some of these online will go for double the price easy. All right then, yep. Yeah. Got a few of these, I don't know if I want to pick any up, but they're not bad, they're still the same price that they were back in the day, I believe. Yeah, here's the Jack Specific ones. I think that one's been touched up, and that's the one you got in the store. Wow, and that's the toy blade builder. Not bad. These just figures lying in boxes on the floor here, that's what it's like. What else have we got here? Oh, more little handheld goodness here. Look at these. I had a few of these when I was a kid. Oh, look. Definitely had that. Donkey Kong, greenhouse. My mother was very adamant buying these for me when I was a kid because they cost a fortune. Oh my god, see that one there? That's Shuttle Voyage. Look at that. I gotta get my brother to remember that, Steve. How about that? First one I ever bought, ever got given. Back then, in 1981 or something like that, 82, that was 35 bucks and that was a fortune. Wow. Incredible. It's still expensive now, but they probably work. Old technology. Steve had a couple of those. Some other old, super old board games. I think Mr. Potato Head there's been, looks older than me. Wow. A couple of other crazy things. And here we go, some of the seven inch line and some other taller, some looking at 10. How cool. 
Marvel, DC. Oh, there's a Matrix one there. I've got that guy. Yeah, really cool. <clears throat> some of the high end, some of the more of the figures. I don't know where Jack Sparrow comes from. Wolverine. Pretty good prices though. Anything from 40 to 100 easy. Don't know where some of these guys come from. They look great. Look at that guy next to Wolverine. What is he? Here you go. Very nice. Oh, here's another Matrix. He's missing his stand, unfortunately. Otherwise, I'll grab that one. Very cool. There you go, if you're into all your Hulk. Marvel and then. Don't know about the thin car, anyways. Just a quick squeeze around these shelves. Again, something's missing from there. I wonder what that would be. My purchase. Yes. Be here all day. It'll be a video maybe 20, 30 minutes long, but I doubt it very much. There we go. That's that's the Transformers, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Okay, more Transformers. Now, this is what I was showing Andrew. Do you remember these things? Pizza Hut aliens. Oh, yeah, I do. Yep. Showing her age, would have been about 10 years of age. Yeah. Back when Pizza Hut was the red and white checked tables and it smelt nice. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so I remember having a few of those. That one's. Wires are showing in his legs there. Yeah, he's got some wear. About 40 something years old, that is. What else have we got in here? More Transformers. More Transformers. More, what are these? This, they're mini. Yeah. Oh no. The newer ones. Transformers crossover clone trooper. Okay. So look at the top of some of these ones here. Patrick Bateman with the wrong axe. You'd probably polish it up and make it the right axe, couldn't you? Yeah. Silver Texter and Bob's your uncle. Yeah. What is that? What is that guy? I have oh, no that's Doctor Who. Oh, there you go. Yeah, they were nuns. Nuns? Yeah, yeah. Rabbit nuns. She might have been an naughty nun, hence the black outfit. Rightios. <laughs> okay, that's crazy. Zoids. Who are they? They're late 80s? Yeah, 80s. Now they're in good condition. They are. This one on the right, the box. those boxes, they, they look like they're straight they're from the good. 80s. Some of those. They look lovely. Oh, that's great. That's Still got the original price of is that five pound ninety nine. Yep, wow. from the entertainer. Yeah, England. Okay. That's nice. Yeah. That is nice, but no room. No. If I wasn't to go Transformers, I reckon this line looks good. They look mad. Oh, it's just the detail. Oh, cool. <laughs> really? That's a sixties. Cartoon we used to watch yeah, in the 70s. Yeah, Paris, isn't it? Hong Kong Fooey. Now I'm never going to get that stupid song out of my head. Never going to let you. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Nothing I'd collect, but there you go. Yeah. Anyone who's interested in Transformers. Oh my god. That's a gallo. This blue guy hanging. What the hell? Someone can explain that to me, I'm sure. Alright. Wow, and a dirty great big truck. That is awesome. It's only thirty dollars. Wow, fantastic, amazing. Oh, the ones on the cars though. These must be the originals. Yeah. Oh, knockoff. It says. Okay. Some GI Joes. Again, I don't collect them. I don't know much about them. I'm sure Andrew and Matt will talk about them. New video. Again, more Joes. I'm going to pass on some of this because I have no idea what I'm looking at. And there's more turtles. Wow. Prices on them too. 15, 20, 30. With cards, with weapons. Amazing. <laughs> Alright, heading down to the neck of the woods that I know about, Star Wars. I might get that next time. Just a little few other things I got first, but maybe and I saw that here last time, so there we go. More Star Wars, some titanium die cast ones. 
There we go, build an R2. It's an incomplete Falcon. I think this come <coughs> this one comes with solo, it's missing its middle bit. I've got jettisoned. There we go. Some nice high end Lego. Fantastic. Wow, that's pretty good. James Wiseman NBA shoe. Who is that? Why is it there? See, some random stuff there. It's worth a few quid, whoever it is. Build your own lightsaber. And there we go. I've already got lots of these, but it's nice to see them again on cards. Hanging on pegs. Very cool. He's one of my favourite. Yeah. Four Salakins figures. He looks so good, but he's only 5 PO, but you wouldn't think so, would you? All out there, all out there. A couple of things here. Much appreciated. All right. Ooh, 35. I looked at that. I don't know. Hmm. Humming and ahhing about that. And here we go. In, in boxes, <laughs> cards. Right. Oh, that's super vintage, but they've been well and truly played with. That's Kenner, those two. Here we go. 12 inch Amidala, 12 inch Anakin Skywalker. Wow, wow. That's nice. Okay. Oh, there we go. Talking about Darth Maul Sith Speeder, and there's that one. You can't see a price on it, doesn't matter. I said about the speeder, the lightsaber going through it, that's what it did. There we are. Holiday editions. Which didn't look like they overdid the paint on them, did they? Just holding Chrissy presents. Okay. Getting to the super duper originals, Kenners. Not bad price. You look at some 60, 45. They're all missing weapons or clothing, and they're on really, really nice stands, though. How cool are they? Wow. Yeah, there's some even original old cards up the back there. There's a card there. Oh, there's a figure with it. 95 bucks. 125. Yep. Very good. Oh, 20 bucks each. Just have a look through there. Been going around some of the newer ones here. And the unleashed mini figs. I like the unleashed large figs. There we go. And here we are. I remember that, that one there. It's a speeding. Which one is it? Gascano. Yeah. I don't know if they'd be good to display in the 375. You don't know what you'd do with that bit. And here we go. These are your Planeta Diagostini. These are smaller. These are only about 2 inches, 3 inches long compared to the more expensive ones. There you go. And there is, you can't see it up the back. Oh, yeah. If that was in a 5, it's only 20 bucks for the barge. That was a couple inches longer. I would have bought it. Yeah, okay, so you got the new and the old. New and the old. 80 bucks. Whoa, he's only a recent one too. Nope, 100 bucks for Luke. And we're going to get a better one up soon. 3PO. Not good paintwork. There we go. Some older ones. Now look, Dino, there's another box there of that. Yeah. And Rose Tico, who probably goes for not much at all. All right. I'm not going to get through all of this. Oh, there's that one. Lots of the Jedi Starfighters here. Lots of them. I've, got a, I've already got one already. It's nice enough. What is that speeder bike? Interesting. Yeah. The very even smaller ones there. They're pretty good. More of the Titanium series. Hand with no clothes on. Seventy dollars. All right. Here we go. Look around some more loose Phantom Menace goodness. Jigsaw puzzle. Oh, I saw another jigsaw puzzle around here. I'll give you a quick 
narrative story being that jigsaw puzzle I had when I was about eight. My folks bought it and I went away on holidays with my grand folks and my dad decided to build it, which is basically a TIE fighter and an X-wing and lots of black. And then we nearly finished it and the bloody cat we had at the time jumped on the coffee table. Well, you know what you can talk, you know, that's what happens with cats and jigsaw puzzles, isn't it? Right, oh. Uh, mm, hot toys. Nice, nice Boba Fett one. Looking at the price, that's about what you get for it. That's what it is. Ooh, a Rathta. The interesting thing about these, only one leg fits in one certain hole. You can't just pop all the holes in there, otherwise you'll break them like I did the first time I had one. Look at these little cars. Japanese stuff. Wow. TIE Fighter is not bad for 75 bucks. That looks good. 95. There we go. 35. That's good for that one, the OP. Yeah. And he definitely came with that version of Pygon. 50 for that. That's your best one you can get. Pity he hasn't got the trooper with it. There we go. Some more original black series, and that's what they, yeah, the blue and the red lines. Wow. Alright, what the hell was that? I don't know. That definitely looks here, Force Awakens. A couple up here. Some nice statues from General Giant. And some more carded figures up top. Bendems. Force Awakens and whatnot. And look here, I forgot I got one of these. That's your price. That's nice. And there's your. Hmm. Wow. Okay, what do we got here? Voltron. Nice. They're all your originals. How cool. Wow. And i got to say, Dan, if you're watching, Ed Five, we've looked around. Oh, there's Pulsar. We had a play with him last time we were here. What are all these guys? Yeah, a bit of everything here, I think. Battlestar. Oh, yeah. Nice, oh, that red guy with the glow-in-the-dark brain had one of them, but he's missing everything. Bits of, lots of DC. Yeah, so, Ed, this is where your game was, mate. The Jaws one. Someone has bought it, unfortunately. Not an, easy, not an easy one to find. Okay, just quickly move along to the end here. Smurfs. Over a hundred Smurfs or more. I had a few of them. Wow. Went to the BP service station and that's where you picked them up from. Alright, really old stuff here. And some old action man. Don't know what that's from. No idea, that bird thing. Wow. There's an original, original Indiana Jones card. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Free, what's that? Free Belog something. Oh, with a purchase of three of them. Okay. Wow. Super old stuff. I'll switch off after this. This is way too much to go through. Just old, 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 old. They still look fantastic. They're in good condition. You can't make things like this these days. <laughs> you always just, I always just wanted one of those. I think everyone my age as a kid wanted one of them. Yeah. Let's get your Matchbox cars in there, not these strange old cars. All right. Last look up. Nice. Very cool. More Revenge of the Sith. Or Star Wars cards. Incredible. Oh, he's playing with that force thing. Alright guys, going into video games and some of the high... This is where you get the statues with. Your edition of your game, whatever it is. Here you go. How incredible. Just Cause Battlefield. Oh, I still love that Battlefield game. It's bloody hard. Of course, your Halos. 
Zelda's Quakes. And then you go to your old and but good games there. Mega Drives. Neo Geos. Wow. Sega's. Who didn't like a Sega? Honestly, I think that's the first time you ever saw Sonic, I believe. Yeah. Wow, incredible. Alright, way too much to chat about here. Awesome, like Duke Nukem. Huh. Awesome. Very good. Alright, guys, I'll leave it at that. And there's a lot of other things over there. Okay, well. Drop on down to CVCC in Fishwick. It's hidden away, but you'll get there now. These days, we've all got ma maps in our cars. All right then, and I'll be doing a video up of what I managed to pick up. All right, guys, from Canberra Vintage Collecting Centre. Sci-fi out. Cheers.